Hello all. Welcome to another video solution by Code Runner. In this video, we will be looking at the median of two sorted arrays problem on LeetCode and this video will provide you with the Python solution of this problem. I have also made a video for the C++ solution of this problem and if you are more comfortable with C++, then you can go ahead and find that video linked in the description box. Also, I request you to please subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates about exciting problems and their solution. So, without wasting any time, let's proceed to this problem. In this problem we are given two sorted arrays or lists nums1 and nums2 of size m and size n respectively. We are supposed to return the median of the two sorted arrays. That is, the median of the array formed when we combine both the arrays nums1 and nums2. Now to understand the problem better, let's check out the input sample 1. In this example, we have nums1 as 1 and 3 and nums2 as a single element 2. If we combine nums1 and nums2, we will get final array as 1, 2 and 3. The median of this list is 2 so the output is 2. If we check out the second input example, we have 1 and 2 in the first array and 3 and 4 in the second array. If we combine both the arrays, we get 1, 2, 3 and 4. As the size of the combined array is even, the median of the combined array is 2 plus 3 divided by 2 which is 2.5. Now having understood the problem, let's head over to the Python code to solve this problem. Before looking at the code, let me explain you the idea that we are going to follow here. Consider two lists L1 and L2 and assume that both of them are already sorted. Now to calculate the median of a set of numbers, we have the following formula with us. We define median as the element at the middle index of an array, its size is odd. If the size is even, we take an average of the element at middle index and the one after that to get the median. Here, in this example, we have considered two lists L1 and L2, both of which are sorted and are defined as follows. The median of L1 is 4 and the median of L2 is 11. Now hypothetically, just assume that we merge the two lists L1 and L2 as follows. The median of the combined list is 7.5. Now if you look closely, the median of the combined array is in between the median of the individual sorted arrays. That is, 4 is less than 7.5, which again is less than 11. This means that if we you discard the values less than median 1 in one array and greater than median 2 in the another array, the median still remains the same, doesn't it? Look at the following line. Here we have stripped our arrays and still, the median is same as it was before. This means that at each step, there is possibility to discard half of the input numbers just by looking at the median of the two arrays. I hope the explanation is clear to you. Let me take you through it one more time through the steps that we are going to follow here. Number 1. We find the median of the two lists L1 and L2. Let these be M1 and M2. Number 2. If the value of M1 is less than M2, we discard the values less than M1 in list 1 and values greater than M2 in list 2. We do the opposite if the value of M1 is greater than M2. And the last and the final step is that we keep repeating this until one of the list gets empty. Great job, we are done with the algorithm. Now, let's check out the code. First we find the combined length of both the arrays nums1 and nums2 as follows. Considering whether the merged length is even or odd, we try to find the what will be the value at a particular index if both the arrays nums1 and nums2 were merged. The function k smallest helps us do that. As an argument, we pass the list1 and list2 and the index in the merged list whose value we are looking for. In the first two statements, we consider the base conditions and see that if any of the array has no values in it, we just return the k index in the another non-empty array. After doing this, we find the mid-index of the individual lists and their individual median values. 
This takes us to two cases that are possible. First is that K is larger than combined mid indices. This means that we can surely drop one half of the array which is smaller than the kf element. Which half to drop is going to be decided by the medians of the individual arrays. Which is specified in these if conditions and explained with comments. If the median of list 2 was more than the median of list 1, we drop the first half of list 1 and adjust the index that we have to look for now. We do the opposite if the median of list 1 was more than the median of list 2. Now, we will handle the second case. Here, the value of k is smaller than the combined mid indices. This means that now we can drop one half of the array which is more than the kth element and call the kth smallest function again. That is it. Great job and we are done with the solution. Let's try to run it and see if it works or not. And there you go. The solution has been accepted. I hope you liked the solution. If you did, then please hit the like button and press the bell icon to stay updated about the latest problems and their solution on lead code. Bye for now. Happy coding and I'll see you next time with another exciting problem and its solution.